Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we're playing some more of the Shrouded Isle. Now, I've made it to autumn of the third year. I'm pretty sure this is the third year, because I've sacrificed a whole lot of people. And, uh, it's getting a little nervous right now, because I believe all that's left is autumn, and then winter, and then the game is done. And so far, I've been able to keep all the families happy, except for Yosefka, but they only dislike me because I killed one of their people last season. And all five of the tenants are still above their danger lines. Um, still no event. Ignorance is still being encouraged by Chernobog in his fantastical dream visions. And I'm still being asked to bring him the pervert, which I think I might do this season. Just because ignorance is getting toward the line, and I think everything else should be able to survive the transition from winter into the end of the game. And so, uh, first up, off to House Kegney. I have never had this happen before, because I've never gotten this far, but I have an inquiry, and nobody... Nobody left in their family has something I can question. Huh. Alright. Uh, well, I don't want to pick Danica, because Discipline's high, and Fervor is already low. Which means I don't want to pick Nadej, because um, Obedience is fairly high, and Fervor is pretty low. Which means... Oh, well... I gotta pick the pervert anyway, because I wanted to uh, give my god the man he's looking for. Next up is House Yosefka, who give me no inquiries because they really dislike me, but I know everything about their family regardless. So, the parents are dead, all that's left are the four kids. Um, obedience is pretty good, penitence is good though. Don't want to go with Andre because fervor's already low. Same with Danek. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to go with Miri. Because she'll boost the fervor at the cost of a little bit of discipline. And I want to use her alone for one month to try and fix the dissatisfaction that I caused with the latest sacrifice. House Cadwell gives me an inquiry. Um, I know very little about this family because I think they spent most of the game disliking me. Uh, rebellious is not good. Accusatory, I will never know how to friggin' pronounce that, and probably because I've never bothered looking it up. Um, penitence is decent. I'd lose obedience but gain discipline. I want to know... Pyotr knows too much. That should be okay, because once I give Chernobog the pervert, then this line should jump back down. So even if I use him once to try and fix Cadwell's dissatisfaction with me, it won't matter by the end of the month. Um, Efferson also has an inquiry. And the only person... Well, there's Yaramir and Hannah, who I don't know about. Uh, I don't want Lattice Loss because Fervor is low. Um, penitence, but practical. Penitent, but a flirt. Ignorant, but disobedient. And a lawful linguist. Uh, how much does Efferson like me? Positive 10 already, so I can just get by with not using anybody in this family. Which I think would be okay. I'm gonna find out. Yaramir is a convict. I'm gonna grab him just because I don't know. I don't really have a good idea of who else to pick. Because Svetlana and Hannah are both ignorant, which means they would bonus to ignorance, but I don't really need to keep it this high after this month, I don't think. Meanwhile, they would lose me disobedience and penitence. 
or they would lose me obedience and penitence, which I think are at a decent enough level where I could get away with choosing them. Or I could get away with those becoming the next Chernobog want. Uh, House Blackborn is a positive five, and I know a lot about the family. Narcissist. These guys know too much. That's a 50. That's a 54. Stubborn. I think I'm going to check out Bogdan is a linguist. So I could choose him and it would lower us ignorance but give us penitence. I'm going to do that just for now. But I don't know really... I'm banking pretty hard on the idea that getting rid of the pervert will push this line onto one of the other tenets of the, the religion. Alright, it's time to see about the season. So, I definitely wanted to go with Miri to... I picked three people with a bonus to penitence nobody with a bonus to discipline but i'll get a bonus to discipline by killing off previn anyway so i'm going with miri in order to fix house yosefka's problems with me and i'm doing that alone nobody else with her miri urged the laborers in carving and sanding and a small shrine to our god was crafted this island is going to be shore to shore, nothing but small shrines to our god. Uh, that gave us a bonus to fervor. Miri roars through the nights in a fit of temper, so more fervor, which is good, because fervor was the lowest of the ones we had, and was the most dangerous option of if ignorance's requirements get foisted onto it. Uh, Miri is rumored to have taken on yet another lover, so right now discipline is real low, but there's nothing I can do about that until it's time for a sacrifice. Actually, there is something I could do about it. I could have Pyotr do some work for us. In fact, I might, because his family is at a negative 20. He would give us penitence at the cost of some ignorance, but would also, just from being of House Cadwell, would give us discipline. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So, Pyotr works alone. Oh, that's harsh. Pyotr seized forbidden desserts and fine cloth, ensuring steadfast focus on prayer, so we get a bunch of discipline back. Pyotr points out a few extra sinners that need punishment, so we get a bonus to penitence. But he pulls the town on their thoughts about a library, because he knows too much, which means we lost a lot of ignorance. The next month, are there any events? No events this season, that's kind of weird. I was going to go with Bogdan. But now ignorance is really low. Which means the only... Hmm. Who's dying this time? Kegney? They're at a negative 10 already. I have to try it. If I go with Kegney... That gives them a bonus to their opinion of me, which is going to be useful for when I sacrifice Preben. Ignorance is going to go up. I don't think it's going to go up high enough to reach that line. Discipline is going to go down badly, which when I sacrifice him, I'll get a bonus of that back. Um... Obedience also goes up a bit because of the lawfulness. Now I could try and... If I go with Pyotr... 
That will keep everything high except for ignorance. Whereas if I don't go with Pyotr, that means ignorance and discipline will not make it out of the gr out of the red by the end of the month. So I think I'm going to go with that. So Preben and Pyotr will hopefully be fine. Oh, shit. Preben found only a few scribbled scraps of old world literature. There were no bonfires, so I lost ignorance on his job. That's the thing. is apparent. I, as far as I can tell, the virtue is always a bonus. The vice is always a negative. But the job can go either way randomly. So we actually lost a little bit of ignorance, even though that was his job. Preben brings in a few extra criminals for questioning, so we get some obedience. Uh, rumors about Preben's strange desires cannot be true, yet they are all the town can talk about. So we lost discipline. It's right at the line. Uh, Piotr sees forbidden desserts and fine cloth, ensuring steadfast focus on prayer. So we gained back some discipline. Uh, Piotr points out a few extra sinners that need punishment, so we gained penitence. But... Uh, he was determined to be imaginative. He is found daydreaming during work, returning to reality with fanciful tales. So the ignorance is still fairly low. I'm really hoping that the game allows me to go from here to the sacrifice without being like, hey, you didn't make it above the green, game over. So Kegney likes me up to zero, which is good because they're about to die. Or somebody in there is about to die. The season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. The gathering convenes. Who will be the sacrifice this season? My god demands the pervert. Hmm. The villagers will be disturbed by Preben's death and we will lose obedience. The villagers will be inspired to greater discipline through the purging of the sinner. The obedience goes down because he's lawful, but because he's a pervert, we gain a bunch of discipline. And House Kegney, Keg, Keg, House Kegney grudgingly submits because of the major vice. There's a whole lot of blood in one old pervert. Through sacrifice, thy will be done. We sacrifice the life of Preben in the name of Chernobog and the good of our people. Our condolences to House Kegney. House Kegney solemnly mourns Preben. Their approval only drops 30, which brings them to dissatisfied, but not rebellious. All other houses go up by five. Cadwell is curiously happy with this outcome. The villagers praise Chernobog for ridding their community of a blighted soul. We gain discipline, but lose obedience. The night before the new season, a whisper caresses your dreams. My most beloved, you struggle so pleasingly. Encourage discipline, denial of worldly pleasures. The rebellious one, give her to me. Ooh, we like just like I hoped. The ignorance is right at the line, as is the discipline. But also, so he wants discipline, which is right at the right line, and he wants the rebellious one. And I'm not sure which house it is, but I know we had a rebellious one around here. So during the last month of the last year. I will be able to give our god the sacrifice he demands. But, as always, one season seems to be one video. And so, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.